Welcome to the Hungaro ring as we approach the midpoint of the 2017 Euro Formula Open season. Harrison Scott has won five of the first six races of the season so far and therefore is the runaway championship leader. But this weekend, with change of weather forecast and a very competitive grid, it should give us some fascinating racing. So let's take a look at the very best of the action. start was going to be all important for the seventh round of the Euro Formula Open season and it was Thiago Vivacqua who made a lightning getaway as did Raul Hyman from pole positions they charged towards the first term. It's Vivacqua who spotted a gap to the inside, seized the initiative and the advantage to take the early lead as behind and it's Karkozic, Matthias Iorio and the Mayor Vidanithan came into contact eliminating Iorio and Vidanithan. Also caught up and that was Daniel Fernenko who lost his nose cone at the front of the field. Campos cars all squabble for position. Iorio frustrated retiree and the same going for Vidanithan. So it's Vivacqua who led from Laxnan, Hyman and then Nikita Troitsky in the early stages. But Troitsky pulling off a fantastic move on Hyman into turn one, swooping around the outside of the South African and thereafter the Russian was released to chase down Laxnan, which he was able to do in fairly short order but of course was proving it's one thing to catch the car in front, quite not to overtake it. So it meant that Thiago Vivacqua celebrated his first Euro Formula Open victory, the first win of the season for Campos. Semel Axton was an excellent second, and the rookie winner from Nikita Troitsky, who rounds out the rostrum. Hyman in fourth, and Yanni Pitcher, third rookie with a solid fifth. Championship leader Harrison Scott to ninth. We had a tough race weekend in Boricard. We went back uh, to Valencia. We worked really hard day and night to fix what was the problem. But uh, now uh, we did one, two, three in the qualifying, and then I decided because I need to gain some points from what I lost in Boricard. So I decided to go full attack into the first corner. And uh, lucky it works because sometimes it doesn't work, but now it works. And uh, yeah, I think we did a good race. We have a good pace here. It was Harrison Scott who led away from pole position at the start of the eighth round of the season as behind Devlin De Francesco bogged down in third. It meant that Scott led from Troitsky as they headed towards turn one, but watch behind as De Francesco looking to recover some ground into turn one. Got squeezed a little bit trying to dart to the inside tower and ready onto the grass. Torpedoed into Petru for the rescue and he took Pedro Cardoso with him as well. Further around the first lap, more this point for the Fortec team as Yanni Fitcher came into contact with Lodovico Laurini that eventually was to put Fitcher out of the race. Once the safety car had come in, it was Pedro Cardoso who was scything back through the field, clearly with a point to prove, moving clear of Daniel Frenenko, was at the front. Nikita Troitsky tried to take the pressure to Harrison Scott. On occasions, Troitsky got within four tenths of a second, but he could never quite craft the overtaking opportunity. And therefore, for Harrison Scott, it was another very smooth performance. His sixth victory of the season, one that further increases his lead at the top of the championship. Troitsky moving up to second in the standings and the top rookie once more with Raul Hyman completing the rostrum. Some accident and Alex Karkozik completing the rookie podium. It was good to be standing here this weekend, um, obviously. Would love to have been here yesterday as well, but um, disappointing qualifying, obviously, to, to have a provisional pole out taken away for track limits. Um, it was annoying and it's so so hard to overtake here, so wasn't really able to do anything from P14, just managed to scrape into the points. Um, but yeah, a thoughtless day today with pole position and leading from lights to flag was just yeah, brilliant. Second part of the season is starting now. Is it downhill? No, I hope it carries on like this. Um, obviously, I think. Every race we get to, the teams are getting closer and closer, so we've got to carry on working hard each race. The level we're at. Yeah. Hopefully we can just keep practicing. 